Hey everyone, welcome back. You know, we get a lot of questions here at Ohio Power Tool about concrete anchors. There are a lot of options, so we just wanted to cover some ground here. Basically, how to make stuff stay where you need it in concrete without just saying a prayer and hoping for the best. Yeah, duct tape's not gonna cut it here. Let's break down the main types of mechanical anchors, when you'd use them, and some do's and don'ts. Let's start with the ones you've definitely seen before, those little blue screws. Tapcons. Tapcons are the brand everyone knows, like Kleenex for tissues, but the DeWalt name is Ultracon and Simpson is Titan Turbos. These guys can cut their own threads into concrete. You pre-drill a hole slightly smaller than the screw, drive them in, and they bite right in like a raccoon in a garbage can. <laughs> They're great for light to medium duty stuff like electrical boxes, conduit straps, window frames, and shelves. Pros? Fast install, removable if you mess up, and you can use them close to an edge without cracking your concrete. Cons, you've got to drill the right size hole, diameter, and depth. Too loose, they spin. Too tight, you are sweating bullets. And if you over tighten, you strip the threads out and boom, you've just made confetti out of concrete and screws can slide right out. There's also a similar anchor to the Tapcons and that is the large diameter screw anchor that will go up to three quarter by 10 inch depth. DeWalt calls their version screw bolt and Simpson is Titan HD. These are usable in seismic applications and are generally considered the go-to for high PSI concrete and block. The pullout strength these provide are not as straightforward as other mechanical anchors as they usually offer two numbers. You'll have your general range specification and then your max load. The overall strength of pulling out is still considerably high. Screw anchors are a simple two-step process. You only need to drill a hole and run the screw in, whereas other anchors require more processes to secure. Now we move up to sleeve anchors. These are like a threaded bolt wrapped in a metal jacket. Tough, but not invincible. You still need to pre-drill the hole, of course, but secure it by tightening the bolt. There's a cone inside that pulls up into the sleeves which expand against the hole walls. That's how it holds, far less concern about over-tightening versus screw-type anchors. They're super versatile, good for machinery, brackets, and shelves. Medium duty, sweet spot. Pros, they work in concrete, brick, and block. Tons of head styles so you can match your hardware. Cons, they're not the strongest. Wedge anchors beat them in solid concrete, and removing them, just forget about it. Once they expand, they're basically saying, I live here now. Now we're talking the heavy hitters, wedge anchors. These are very popular and with good reason. Designed just for solid concrete, you pre-drill, hammer them in, tighten the nut, and the wedge at the bottom expands so hard it feels like it's daring the concrete to move. <laughs> These are more predictable for hold strength, less prone to insulation issues, so a popular go-to for structural steel, heavy machinery, and guardrails. Basically anything you don't want crashing down mid-shift. Pros, they've got some of the highest holding power in the business. Reliable for serious loads. Cons, concrete only. And you need to keep them far from edges so there is no risk of the added forces cracking your slab. And once they're in, they're permanent, so don't mess up your layout unless you enjoy demo work. Switching gears here, let's talk speed. Concrete pins, these historically were fired in with powder actuated tools, but have switched to gas powered fuel cells like the C6 or just cordless. It's like a nail gun mixed with a firearm. You're literally shooting metal pins into concrete. Talk about fast install. Great for drywall track, furring strips, conduit clips. They sit low profile and get the job done. But they're light duty only. Not going to hang a steel beam with these. A big reason powder actuated tools have become less popular is because they require special training, Storage plans and safety gear is required. And don't get cute with it, OSHA doesn't laugh at nail gun jokes. Now a cousin of pins, impact pins or strike anchors. Drill a hole, drop it in, hammer a pin, and it expands like DeWalt's nailing. They're tamper resistant, so once it's hammered, you're not backing it out without taking concrete with it. These are solid for wood framing, conduit, or light to medium fixtures. Quick install, reliable hold. But again, not wedge anchor strength, and don't go a Hulk smash with the hammer, you can overdrive it. And last one on today's list, drop-in anchors. These are sneaky ones. You'll drill a hole typically with a matching bit, which will set the depth, drop the anchor in, and then use a special setting tool to drive the cone down. That expands it against the whole walls. What's cool is they're flush with the surface and internally threaded. That means you can screw in and out threaded rods or bolts whenever you want. That's why they're perfect for suspending HVAC, sprinkler systems, pipe hangers, anything overhead. Pros, 
flush mount, bolt removability, good strength, and solid concrete. Cons, you must use the setting tool, and the hole better be clean. Dust and debris will mess it up. So yeah, that is really the case with any type of hole drilled for concrete anchors, mechanical and or epoxy. Clean and vacuum out that hole or you could have some serious issues. So here's the recap. Screws are quick and easy. Really important not to over tighten them. Sleeves are versatile, tighten in place. Wedges are structurally heavy duty beasts. Pins are lightning fast and require a special tool. Strike anchors are sneaky tough and only require a hammer. And drop-ins keep it clean and flexible if you want to hang a threaded rod. There are lots of factors when picking your anchor based on the material, the load, and whether you want it removable. Sometimes these are specced into plans and each manufacturer has its own list of federal and state approvals. It can be a lot. Of course, if you ever find yourself with anchoring questions, crossing brands, which is best for a hanging strut, and tough wire works with which anchors, there is so much to cover we couldn't possibly do it in a single video. Did you know that DeWalt has a full software design suite from MEP hangers to concrete anchoring layouts? The good news is we are here to help. We can always find you an answer. Just call our team at Ohio Power Tool. We are here to answer those specific questions. We got some real good concrete and anchoring wizards in-house. Catch you next time. Drill responsibly and may all your anchors hold strong. Did you like that video? Would you like more? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't, I, I wasn't talking to you. My bad. If you like the video and would like more, make sure you like and subscribe this one and slap that notification bell. And if you have any questions, just give us a call or email us. We even have facts if you're into that. And if you're still doom scrolling, make sure you check out one of these videos here. Thanks for watching.